welcome everyone to yet another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CB Cube. How much bigger my mustache is. I know, it grew a lot it's since a lot. the last yeah, time we were on the show. Yeah, last time we recorded it. Yeah, it's looking great though. Thank I'm, you. I'm very impressed. Yeah. Shall we dive on in? Let's go ahead and do it. Box broken. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. It is time for the Wheel of Energy. Jay, will oh, you do the honors? Man. As ever, as ever. Let's go. I feel like I made, I guess that was a hefty spin. It was a hefty, but it's going to be, it's going to be fire. Who do you think? As, yeah, it's definitely going to be fire. I feel no doubts about it whatsoever. And look it's at that. So it's so really oh, close. Oh, it close. really wanted it to be. It's electric, which means we have to change the skateboards. Ben's favorite part of the show here. Oh, look at Jolteon. It's way over here. Oh, man. So Jolteon's oh, getting a little, little bit of the limelight. There we go. Oh, man. Or as we like to call it here at SCB, the orange light. The orange light, yeah. <laughs> you get it? Because it's a different citrus, but it's also the color scheme for this show. I get yeah, it, yeah. Yeah, yeah it makes Very sense. Do you want to tell them about today's random chosen common chase cards? Oh, like, drop some other cards? Drop some other cards, <laughs> yes. Today's random chosen common chase cards are going to be Excadrill, Cutie Fly, and Slugma. And uh, as a reminder, in the lead on the leaderboard today is Stephen N with 132 points, followed by Rozzy Thacking, or the King, at 112. Down at quality eighth place is Monkey Bacon, but very interestingly, Big Steve sits in seventh. So if just one person passes Big Steve over the next, like, four episodes, Big Steve will get quality eighth place. I know, it's it's kind of unbelievable. Like, I, I feel like he's in such a such a sweet spot for it, too, because he has 49 points. The next person above him has 54. So I, I guess really anybody who gets 50 points or above. Yeah, will, it seems will likely be. that he'll he'll be below eighth by the end of the game, but yes. you never know. You never know. So lots of boxes <laughs> left to be bruck. Let's dive on in. Yeah. All right, first up on today's episode is going to be Christy C. This is the first pack of the third round. Yes, it's right. very exciting. Oh, so so final pack. We're getting into final score territory. The final countdown. Yep. So Christy's coming in today with 12 points for All right. Team Fire. All right. So no multiplier here, but we have Totodel, Deerling, Pidove, Pineco, Delmize, Electivire, which will score, Sanchino, Sharpedo, Eerie will not score, and Dunsparce. So, so only two points, just, I'm afraid. There, just Christy a C. mere two, bringing Christy up to 14, 14 on the total. season. Well done to Christy. These cards will be headed just right in your direction. And enjoy that to Dunsparce. The to Dunsparce. Ben, I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to apologize in advance to our viewers because it has been over a month since we've recorded this show. I know. I'm a little rusty on the cards and what uh, what all happened in the past few episodes. So just bear with us as yeah, we go or, forward. Or we'll, we'll spontaneously remember details and it'll be great. Yeah, otherwise we'll just look at the board and we'll just figure out the dramatics as we go. Yeah. Next up for Team Grass is Tempest Blade. Tempest Blade, who has seven points. Lucky number seven at the number start seven. of the day here. Let's see what we can do for old Tempest. I gotta say, we were on tour, which is the reason why we were so far behind on opening things. And the number of Box Breakers patrons who we met on tour I was know. amazing. It was so exciting to meet them because like this is the audience this is the viewer base i feel like we have the least interaction with i know in yes. person but instead we actually get to see them i know yeah it was really cool okay so oh we Ooh. got the lightning bolt energy so we got we a 2x got multiplier. multiplier we got the minchino the 
Rock Rough, the Litten, the Shroomish, the Mudsdale, the Explorer's Guidance, the Colossal. Too bad for not a Rock is Pummeling. pummeling. Uh, the Palafin will not score, the Full Metal Lab will not score, and the Feraligator will. Just so two points on the multipliers. Goodness. For nine on the season. No. Oh, hold on, though. I need to go ahead and block out this Oh, yeah, that's a good call. Yeah, is, this is the family mean, show, after uh, all. That's right, that's right. Get there nice and censored. Yeah, we're all better. We're Ooh. all better. Okay, enjoy your, your marked up for alligator. Headed Man. your way, Tempest Blade. There you go. Next up, we've got Blood Vamp, rival of Andriana. Go ahead and grab this pack for you here. Blood Vamp is coming in with seven points as well. For Team Electricity, who are atop the leaderboard, uh, absolutely crushing it right now. And thanks to uh, Steven N with 132 points there in first place. Yeah, we got Metatite, Turtonator, Hoot Hoot, Morty's Conviction, Shiftry, Bianca, Metatite. Oh, we have a critical hit, Ben. And a Bolton will a score. A Bolton will score. And the Incineroar will score our first ultra rare of the day. Let's see, but just a single point for that so. Incineroar. So, so it's one, be two. two times two for the critical hit is going to be four points on the day which you know for for a blood vamp makes them the high scorer on the day hey but you know. for now don't let it go to your head yeah yeah exactly yeah. we're on to you we know what's up of course I, I i you know what if no one beats 11 points for the rest of the day it's gonna be uh or sorry. Oh no, yeah, I, I just mean four points on the day's pull. That's, yeah. the, that's the biggest pull we've had so oh, far. Oh, sorry. If four points is the biggest pull we have all day, that's gonna be a really sad It'll episode. be a very disappointing episode. Maybe we will have lost the footage. Oh no. So if you're watching this, it definitely means that we uh, pulled more than that. All right, well next up we have Collard Cow 41 who has an impressive 21 points coming into the day. All right, Collard, let's see what we can do for them. The Bamp for Team Water. Would love to see some points go up on the board. We got the got metal, the metal energy. energy there, the Lickitung, the Slug Mole score, score, the Solosis, the, the Scyther. Scyther does not score, but I will sign it there for you. There we go. You. The Colossal, the Boxed Order, the Screamtail, the Victini will not score, the Relicanth will score, as will the Explorer's Guidance, which was there one of those or was that last pack? Nope, just the one. Um, but there we go. That's so Oh, something. there you go. Look at full art. Nice. Yeah, Throw we that will take for you. you. Collar oh cow. Not too bad either. Six dollars seventy cents. We're out up to seven. seven eight, nine points. Points. Nine points. There we go. See, footage intact, not in any way, shape, or form there we go. lost. So that's going to be 30 points on the season then. Not bad. Collar Cow was, was aiming to try to see if they could knock Big Steve Get down to quality there, eighth to that place. Quality eighth place spot, but. I like to think that the, the herd, as it were, is, is coming together to try to provide Big Steve with such a win. You, you think know? so? It's like, they're, it's like everybody's kind of pulling for it. Like it would be so great to see one of the. To the actually shows, have him get somewhere. Yeah. The show's co founder win something. Thing. Yes. <laughs> It'd be exciting. Next up, we've got Bourbonator, who only has four points on the season. So let's see, what do you need to do? What what point total do we need to get someone to bump Steven down into eighth place? We need at least 50 points. Okay, yeah, so someone's yeah. total has to be 50 points. Oh, we have another multiplier, so that's a good go. start. Okay, yep, now it's just 46 out, points the, to go. No, not the Metatite. Sorry, that was the critical hit. Turtonator, Hoot Hoot, Future Booster, Great Tusk, Delcaddy, Bramblin, the Finn is an oh, the Raging, Raging Bolt! Bolt! Wow, okay. okay. So the, the illustrator art of Raging Bolt is one of the most valuable cards in the set. Not the most valuable. I think that's the Iron Horns. Yeah, so unfortunately this one, it's I mean, it's four dollars forty cents around up to so five times two is ten. Ten, which is still just gonna bring to twelve on the season, sadly, but still a great pull all around. Twelve or why do I have fourteen? Oh, you know what? It is fourteen. I just cannot do math. Okay, okay. So it is 14 on the season. 14 on the season. Steven's still in seventh. Oh. There we go. So we'll keep an, keep an eye, eye on, on that. that. Yeah, don't you worry. Thank you for joining us for Big Steve Watch. I know, if anyone's even close to it, I wonder in today's episode. Next up we've got uh, Ethereal Squirrel, F Squirrel, coming in at 13 points on the season so far. For Team Grass. There we go. Who I believe Grass. Team Grass currently in last place. Oh boy, how the mighty have fallen. I know, I know. Kind of like our, our like reigning champ. Oh, so look at that, yeah. Rep, repping some salad energy there. The Lickitung, the Slugma, Slugma scores. Scores. Solosis, the, the Scyther, Scyther. the Perilous Jungle, you. the Oomphazont, the Eerie, the Licky Licky. Uh, the Heavy Baton will not score, and the Whimsicott will score, so just one, two points for just Ethereal points. Squirrel today. For a total of 15. Yeah, only okay. Only a, sort of a sad finish there for Ethereal Squirrel after putting up seven and six in the first round. That so. is, that's quite all right though. There. There's always next time. Well done, F Squirrel. There is always next time. And next on the day is going to be Carly B. 
coming in with nine points on the day. Yes, so they would need something big to bump Steven. But, yeah, you know. yeah. I mean, at least just we'll a cool some, 41. We'll get there. Someone's yeah. going to get something big, you know? Happens all the time. Bam, Grass Energy again, the Beldum, the Berloom, the Rollicoy, Heatmore, Reunculus, Explorer's Guide, Latius, Duosion, Excadrill will score, as will the Feraligator. So it's just going to be a two-point pack, I am afraid. We'll go ahead and censor your Feraligator here, because, you know, family-friendly, we don't want to offend anybody's uh, sensitive eyes or anything like that. Yes, yes, of course. So that'll bring uh, Carly B up to 11 points on the season. Man. Well played, well played. Cards headed your direction. Oh, well played indeed. Next up, we've got Fluffy Duck. Fluffy Duck! The fluffiest. Okay, so Fluffy Duck has 18 points. 18, okay. So that's that's not that's not too awful bad. Yeah. We're looking at like 32 points necessary. Boy, these cards are about to take a trip because Fluffy Duck is from Southern Australia. So Goodness, we're, we're, okay. We're shipping these around the world. They tr that's pretty amazing to think <laughs> yeah. that here in Roanoke, Virginia, I am holding cards that will go to Australia. Yeah. Yeah. Where I've been. Yes. So, all right, let's see here. So we got the Skitty, the Electabuzz will score, score, the Bramblin, the Drafferig, the Sableye, the Iron Valiant, the Rescue Board, the Mica Bolt will score, the Scyther, the Sign, and the Gouging, gouging Fire. fire. Number 38 on the set. It is a front pager. Dollar 24 will round up to two. So, two, three, four. Points for Fluffy Duck headed to Australia. 22 on the season. So Not bad. That might be our best, our highest point total so far. Today. Today. Uh, no. Not nope. quite, because nope. yeah, we've got Cal Colored Cow. Oh, I'm sorry, Colored yeah. Cow. Yeah. Sorry, Fluffy Duck. My memory is uh, short term these days. You but know. they they are both like barnyard animals a little bit, cows and ducks. Cows and ducks. Yeah, you know? there it is. All right. Next up, we have got uh, Jackinator and Dakinator. Jack and Dak. <laughs> Jack and Dak coming in with just three points on the season. So they're going to need something really massive out of this pack if they want to make a dent in anything. Because sadly, they have put themselves out of last place, you have to think. You have to think. Yeah. I mean, there, there's certainly a scenario, but you you need either one point or something more special. Yeah, the Roselia will not score, the Carvana will not score, and the oh, Flutter so Mate. Oh, oh my god. Really, gosh. just two points is... Boy, that I mean, that if there one was, hurts. If there was any fingertip grip left on last place, it was know, just like it that. Was just was, that. Yeah, but then they just missed it by so little. Too. I know. Yep. Like maybe, maybe four points could have done it. Yeah. But uh, five ain't gonna cut it. I'm no, afraid. that no ship way. has There's sailed. No way. All right. So good luck next time to Jackinator and Dakinator. Next up, we have got Dalton Green. Dalton Green for Team Water coming in today with 20 points. Yep, so okay. we're about to have so Dalton Green, and then our next card is gonna be coming in with 38 points. So both of oh, these are bacon are can folks. Really do some damage. Yes, absolutely. So we're we're curious to see. Although got, Monkey Bacon, I think, is sitting in in eighth place, right? Is that right? Hang on. I oh, think they thing. are. You're right. So they, they don't want to move. They don't want to <laughs> actually. Move. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, they're they're in like a kill spot right Although, now. Although no, it's okay if they move above Big Steve because then they'll be in the Big Steve award. Oh, that's true. So they can move just one up. M Monkey Bacon could be like uh, like have a win win <laughs> hero situation. They really for Big can. Steve. All, right, okay. all right, all right, all right. Well, well, we're not there yet. Now we're, we're working. Uh, we're working on Dalton Green with twenty points coming today. We have got the Skitty, the Electabuzz will score, the Bramblin, the Giraffe Rig, the Centiscorch, Buddy Buddy, Buddy Poffin, Poffin will score, the Iron Treads, the Torcat will not, the Rabskill will not, and the Drampa will score. But so we're just gonna have one, two, three, four. Five, because Buddy Buddy go. Poffin's worth three. Worth so, three, yeah. So, so 25 on the season. 25 on the season, and that's for, that. that's for Team Water. I'm just curious really quick if I can take a quick gander. That will put them into scoring potential for Team Water. Hey, there you go. Very amazing. Nice. That puts, what, like four points on the board for Team Water? Should put a few points on the board for Which Team Water. Which, actually, it's pretty close there from 214 to 222. Like, it's still, you need, you have a long way to go to catch up with Electric, and second, there's no awards for second place, but, you know, pride. Pride, yeah, pride, exactly. Yeah, I mean, right? you know, everybody's just leaving grass in the dust right now. Exactly. All right, Ben, how many points does Monkey Bacon need to surpass... Big Steve. 12. They need 12. This needs and, to be a 12 or higher pack. And Monkey Bacon's having a great season. Their first pack was worth 28. Their second one was worth 10. Yes. So like, you know, we're not we're not terribly far off. No, we're not. And as a reminder, Mon Monkey Bacon is a father-son duo. Let's see, can the father-son duo bring home- Good start. Yeah, Torque out. we have a score. Frostmoth, the Ancient Booster Capsule, the Iron Treads, oh, the Buddy Buddy, Buddy, Buddy Poppin. Poppin. That's very nice. We're getting close to the Rap School Will Not Score. And the Giraffe Rig EX. God, they oh. did. You know, it's hard to ask them to do much more. 
I know. But I don't. I think don't think the giraffe, or it, the Fregaraf is gonna be yeah, enough. It's just, it's just thirty nine cents for that. Oh, one. So no. just, just give me one. It's gonna be five points again. Five um, points back, so, so back to back. We had, we had two shots there that felt like they were in the zip code, and they both did the exact same thing. Both benefiting from the buddy buddy poppin. Um, so that's gonna bring 43 points 43 for points. Monkey Bacon. But further secures their current eighth place spot. It does indeed, and and actually puts Team Electric's um, point total up a little bit higher as well. Five, five points higher, because right. they were already scoring. That's true, so those were just extra points for Electric, and they're in the lead, so well done to Monkey Bacon for at least that. Probably looking at a pin, but you never know. I shouldn't even say that. Because I know, I know, a, yeah. Who's, a single card from Team Grass could change everything. Well, and we have two people with over 100 points at the moment. I don't think we thought anybody was going to take down Rozzy with 112 yeah. and Stephen N came in with 132. So. Well, all right, so here we go. Next up is John Smith. Indeed for Team Grass. Could this be the hero they need? Uh, well, we'll see. So far, three points on the season, so a little bit of lifting left to go. Man, but we got Grass. that solid energy. Doing it again. The Grubbin, the Frostmoth, the Iron Jugulus, the Bianca, Shift Tree. Oh! Critical hit on the Yamper! Oh, but it's a double critical hit on no the way. Frostmoth! So we got a four times multiplier! Four X on what, though? What do we got? On the, oh, the Drampa! Oh, oh my no. gosh! So it's just gonna be, I think it's a 12 point pack. So yeah, right? no, 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 so, yes, you're right, yes. Yeah. So one, two, three, times four, times so 12 four. points. Wow. So that's our high score of the day and brings um, John Smith for Team Grass up to 15. Let's see if that puts John Smith into, no, that doesn't even put John Smith into scoring territory wow. for Team Grass. Unfortunately, Rather but a good showing. I mean, the double multiplier, of oh, the double critical hit, you almost oh. never see that. But uh, there it was. All right, well, better luck next time. All right, next up, Ben, we have got Bastion, and dare I say, do we have a rookie in we here, We do ben? have a rookie. We, okay, we have two rookies in today's field, so this is a, uh, Bastion, I do not believe, can compete for uh, last, last place. place. Could, I mean, if they get the pulls of the century, could go for first. Could go for first. Could go for first. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, of course, is also going for rookie of the day, but this will be their only pack of the season. Yes, yeah, so let's see what the one pack magic can be <coughs> for Bastion. We got the Roselia, the Cutie Fly will score. There you go. The Drillbur, the Relor, the Rabombi, the Hand Trimmer, the Rabska, the Raichu will, will score. Good say. Oh, oh the, Metagross. the Metagross. Hey, that That's is a, a really nice one. I love this little, like, tractor guy. Yeah, yeah back look there. at That's that. so adorable, and he's, like, back behind. He's rolling like a little snowball. Look at this guy. And a snowman right there. Okay, I'm loving that card completely. Then we're yep, ride on. Ride we'll on. score. Okay, All right, so, so let's... the Metagross is the big winner here for yeah. sure. Let's see, but one. I don't think it's going to be a winner to the tune of like 130 points or anything. No, no. We're at $5.23. Oh, so I thought it would be more than that. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine points. Nine points. You know so, what, though? That's really good for Rookie of the Day and the, the Olive Garden gift card. It is indeed, yes. So let me make a note here for Bash. Um... Having nine points. There we go. I was gonna see. Uh, it says some, or Bastion's favorite Pokemon are Absol, Scraggy, and uh, Scrafty after Raptorus from the Black Nuzlocke. But sadly, none of those Pokemon present in this particular pack. Too bad. A great, great first showing. Great Welcome first to showing. the show. Welcome Thank the you game. for your patronage. You did it. You did it. You might be going to the Olive Garden. Actually, I just opened that one, didn't I? So you're up. Okay, I'll bomb. From your side. It feels heavy too. Oh, you think this is the My, heavy the, one? The hand scales Ben's feel hand good. Hand scales. All right, who do we have up next? We have Vincent. Vincent coming in with three points. So again, it's like it seems like a long shot for last place. You never know. A single point, but plus it feels it feels heavy. It's a heavy pack. It so feels heavy. maybe we're just going big. You know, that's all. That's all there is. We have the Rock is pummeling, the Knocked Out, the Crocodile, the Licky Licky, the Matang, the Lichen Rock, the Delcaddy, the Booster Energy, the Roserade will not score. Oh and the my God! Then I don't know what you were feeling. I don't know what he I was feeling either. Heaved wise. No, no heaved no whatsoever. No It's a single point. So so what? Let's let's take a look just in case we end up needing it later. So okay. 121 on the set is going to be worth 25 cents, which also feels a little high value for a last place award. It kind of does. Four points. I mean, it's not impossible. I, I want to say that there's like maybe only two people in the whole pack, like the whole field right now. Oh, that could get the three points? That could do the three points. Okay. So it's like it only, those two who only just have to trip, which can like crack the door wide open. Yeah, yeah. And we've seen that happen plenty of times. We certainly have. All right, next up we have Sean, who has six points. Is it you? No, it's you. Yeah, I can't remember. God, what a light pack, though, for oh, Sean. Yeah, oh, wow. Okay, yeah. 
Let's see, this says after seven years of working and a minor league baseball team gets to throw one of the ceremonial first pitches. No way! Man, oh my god. That gosh. probably happened a while ago at this point, but congrats. Well, what an incredible honor. How That's fast so was it? Leave yeah. a comment. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We got the Roselia, we got the Cutie Fly, Cutie Fly will score. score, the Drillbur, the Relor, the Box Daughter, the Robombi, the Future Booster, the Mudbray will not score, the Frostmoth will not score, and the Fluttermane Flutter will. will. So just two points. Two points for Sean, who probably threw faster than two miles per hour on that Probably, pitch. Probably even faster than eight miles an hour. I would I'm be willing honest. to bet so. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep. You know, so that's okay. That's okay. We'll see you next time. We will. All right, next up we have got Mod Squad Data Rage. Who is currently shedding what we what we refer to affectionately as the Mod Curse. Yes. Uh, Data has 23 points coming into the day. So as far as contenders to try to do what we want to do for Big Steve, Probably our next best bet here is going to be Data. Oh man! Well, fun fact: we actually, we mentioned being on tour earlier. We saw Data on tour. We did. Bam! We did. All right, Fireball Energy, so no Multiplier, Crocodile, Licky Licky, Matang, Lycanroc, Salvatore, Palafin, Metagrosso, and Metatang. Oh, is that a rare? No, it is not. The Mall Wild will not score. The Coridon. There we okay, go. Okay, so at least we got full art in the mix. Number one twenty. It looks a little bulky though, and it, it is at forty three cents. Oh, just a single point. Just a single. Data. Oh, come on, Data. The twenty fourth. So Steven remains in seventh again. There we go. There, there we go. go. Someone's okay. gonna crack it. There's so many packs left to be opened this season. Up oh. next, we're gonna have Becky Borst. We got Becky Borst, rival of Beck Squad. Beck Squad. Mm -hmm. Where it be on. It do be on right now. Although Beck Squad or Becky here is uh, only sitting at five points. So Just, I don't know how Beck Squad is doing. All right. right. Let's see here. We got the Lightning Bolt Energy, which will give us the, the two X multiplier. We got the Ponytail. That's your top. The Katani, Katani. Okay, we got there eventually. Then my brain did a little flurb. <laughs> we got the Carvana, the Iron Jugli Juglius, Juglius, Juglius. Yeah, this is your pack, man. I know. Full Metal Lab with the Go Lurk. The <laughs> <laughs> LGM, yeah. LGM will not score. The Reunculus <laughs> will not score, and the Karaidon. Oh, you can say that one. I know. There we go. Oh okay, that was that was an embarrassing that was showing. One of the most difficult to pronounce packs I've ever seen. All right, so we got two. Two points two there points for, for Becky Boris to maybe work for seven it. Seven on the season. Well done, well done, Becky. There we go. Next up, we have got zero for twelve, who yep. is coming in with nine points. Why did I write episode nine on there? That was not correct. All right, nine, nine with nine. Oh, because I said nine points. Nine, That's yeah, why I did yeah. the math. I'm trying to write three and say nine. I hope goes. you get a Katani. Yeah, a Katani. <laughs> Oh, another multiplier! Back okay, all right, right. Let's, Here we see go. Let's see it. Let's see it. Carkel, Grottle, Finizia, Finizan, Finizan. Oh, man, I we are, we are, we are. Oh, oh this will score. score. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the Iron Hands will score. The Heavy Baton. Oh, the Miss the Energy, energy will score. scores. The Slugma scores. The Keldia will not, and the Macargo will. Oh my god! You gosh. got a full line right there. I know. Okay, so let's see here. So one, two, three, four, four five, five times, times two is ten, ten points. points. For zero four twelve, which will put them up into nineteen points on the season for Team Fire. Well done, well done indeed. Impressive. That was a lot out of nothing. That honestly, was a lot out of nothing. You know. Yes, yes. Using all the rules of the game to the best of their advantage. Scrappy play. All right, Ben. Next up, crowd favorite. It's Sir Dobbington. Sir Dobbington. Here we go. All right, they've got nine points as well coming into it here. Sir Dobbington is a girl dad, and we'll be watching episodes with the whole fam. Oh, that's amazing. Well, welcome well, back, shout out Dobbington to the whole, family. Hello to the whole fam. We got the. the we got the ponytail, the chitot, the cottony, <laughs> the carvana, the iron hands will score. Did we forget one of those before? The no, rescue board, the I sandy shocks, did. the drill burr will not score, the arbok will not score, and the mud cargo. Wow, what a similar pack. It was a very similar yeah. pack. Yeah, so two points for Sir Dobbington. Three. Wash him with the whole fam. Hope you guys enjoy. There you go. Get your iron hands up there, man. Put your iron hands in the air. All right, next up, we, oh, Ben, here okay. we go. Big okay. one, big one here. It is Rozzy the King, former leader of this season. How far down are they? They are in second place. They're in second place, yes, but by what? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah. that, that question makes more sense. Yes. Um, okay, they are currently down by 20 points to Steven End. So they need 21 wow. to take back over that leaderboard. But 21 I mean, is, that would be the best pack today. It would right? be the best, uh, I believe uh, it would be. Yes, yeah. yes, it would be. It would be the best pack today. They have had an interesting season. Their first pack, 110 points. Their second pack, two. 
too. Well, we so, haven't seen any of the um, any of the ace specs. Ace specs, yeah. Cards, yes, and those those tend to hit pretty heavy, and the pull rates are decent. Yeah, um, there's typically about two per box. So a prime catcher would All be right. like Ooh, the thing to look that for would be, here. That'd be that would great. that would do it in right. one. No multiplier. The grotto, the fin is in the bronze or the scream tail. Oh, I think I see Heavy, one too. Oh my gosh, Ben, you might have called it the Iron Mountain, the reboot pod. Oh. I don't know if that's got the same pull. Oh, oh my god. And then god. the Minchino and the Coridon. Okay. Goodness. So three scoring cards. Two of them look look Impressive, but okay. we'll see what the scoreboard says. First up, reboot pod. Oh gosh, okay, so this is the worst case scenario no. for Ace Two dollars seventy nine cents. Just, Just three points, three points. For, the, for that one. What about the Minchino? Ben? What number is that one going to be? That is going to be one eighty two. One eighty two. It's going to be three points. Let's see. That's that's gonna be three points. Oh, this is gonna be three points. And then what about the Karai down here? Is that that's just one, right? This is just probably a single point. Yes. yes so oh my gosh. So man. Wow. They pulled the A spec. They pulled a, like a full art card as well. Like we man. literally. Yeah. We. Uh, I can't man. believe the setup man. and the play out of that. So seven points right there. So that's gonna be a hundred and nineteen on the season. Goodness, man! Well, really played, played. a good season. A great, a great couple cards, though. I mean, yes, truly, I mean, yeah. Like, that's it's a great pack, no matter which way you. This slice has been a good it. season for them. They must certainly have other very rare cards as well. Yes, yes, yeah. absolutely. Can't okay. The well, well done to Rozzy and for for Team Fire did just pick up an additional seven points. So there know, is their, that. So as well. yeah, that is good. If, uh, so the other Team Fire members can pick up the slack. Maybe they can make up the the distance there. All right, next up we have Opal Tano, probable cousin of the Ahsoka Tano. I think it only stands to reason. Stands coming to reason. In with, with eight points on the day? with eight points, yep. Okay. Okay. Boy, I really thought Rozzy was going to make was that like, interesting. No way. No way. Unbelievable. Okay, well, let's see here. So we got the we got the metal energy there. We got the Ekans, the Turtwig, the Puccina, the Wiglet, the Shaman, the Ferretris, the Vikavolt will score. score. The Mancino will not. The Carcol will not, and the Iron, Iron Valiant, Valiant will. So Just two, points. two points for Opal Tano, who is then able to crack into double digits with ten. So way to go for that. Hey, there we go. I wrote ten to score wrong. My goodness. There we go. Ten. All right, well, well done to Opal Tano. Better luck next season. Next up, we have got Maximus Lovegood, who came in as a rookie halfway through the season, so they only have two packs here. You know what? I'm gonna do one of these. Do one of those. Do Why one not? Of these. Why not? Maybe, maybe throw an ace spec right into the mix. Wouldn't that be crazy? Wouldn't it be wild if this was one and we just, we, if, we'd, if only we picked this one up instead? I know, it'd be unbelievable. Razi. I'm curious with Maximus Lovegood if this is somebody who is both a fan of the movie Tangled, where the horse is named Maximus, mm. and Luna Lovegood from Harry Potter. Could be. Cutie Fly will score. The Drill Burr. The Delmas, the Electivire will score, the Sinchino, the Pineco, the Bolton will score, and the Car so many Coridons today. I know. Okay, so one, two, three, four for Maximus Lovegood, known fan go. of Tangled and Harry Potter, there for six points on the season. There you go. Pretty solid start there to their career. Not so bad, not so bad. Enjoy mm -hmm. your Coridon. There you go. As well, I feel like we're saying that a lot. Oh, you're going to go here for I'm, another I'm, I'm going to do it as well. You, you, you made it look so cool. All right. For Karnak McClagan here, who's oh, coming in with nine points. Probably another big Harry Potter fan. Probably, yeah, based yeah. on their name, although we added the McClagan ourselves. We sure did, yeah. yeah. It's, I mean, and it's not, Karnak is not even Cormac, which is no. what that character's name is, but yeah. we just think it's funny. Yeah. Okay. Rival of uh, skill. skill. Yeah, yeah. I remembered. <laughs> yeah. Slytherin. Just like actual Cormac. Right, 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 right. Okay, so we got the, the <laughs> Salad Energy there, the Tranquil, the Mr. Mime, the Raichu will score, the Victini, the Rebombi, the Future Booster Energy Capsule, Iron the Iron Hands. Hands will score, the Finizen will not, oh, hey, the Ghastly! The Ghastly! That one I want to say is worth something. I think that's a good card. I okay. think that and, is. And the Drampa that closes out. Let's check 177. Boy, this was such a different feeling pack with the Mr. Mime, the Tranquil, and the Victini. We haven't seen those at all. Dude, this is not bad. Yeah? This is not bad. What do we got? So for the Ghastly, 30 Three dollars twenty-two cents. This is a thirty-four point card. It's a thirty-four point 34, card. Thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven points. Thirty-seven. Oh my gosh, Jay. So it's gonna have made it forty-six points on the season for Kernak, which literally is four points away from putting Big Steve in the quality eighth place spot. Oh my gosh, so close. So close. What a valiant so and close. iron valiant effort. Indeed. Wow, congrats on that Gasly. Well, well, that's go, yeah. a heck of a pull. 46 points on the season. Very good. And the Gasly is just awesome. It so. is just awesome. Well yeah, so done, there you man. Go. Enjoy. Nice. Boy, 
boy, oh boy. Well, and that was just from one of the individual packs. That too. was, I know. So now our, our pool rates for our booster box have been unimpeded. All right, so next up we have got Margo. And they've just got a single point on the season. Just just, just one. one. This is on their second pack. So Margo's a longtime player, but they're um they took a they took a break at the beginning of the season and then came back. So they missed round one this season. Actually, I think they missed a cut, I think they missed season ten altogether. Oh, missed season yeah. ten altogether. Yeah. You're so, right. So okay, so this is kind of interesting because they do just have one point, and you do need more than one pack. So they could be competing for last place right now. I suppose that's true. Although they're going to have more than one anyway. Okay, you're right. Shame, and the Bramble Ghast and the Relic Ants. Okay, so, so there three you go. points. So yeah. four for uh, Margo. For Margo. A triumphantish return. There you go. There you go. You got to get. You got to get back in the game. You know. That's right. That's right. You know. I mean, you can't go back to, to season four with 37 points on a single pull. Season, season five, five at 81 points. Unbelievable. 77 pack. Yeah. Mar Margo is a force to be reckoned with. Yeah. That's you know. that's basically what we expect here. to see here. Return to form uh, in no time flat. All right. Next up, Ben. It is our next rookie of the day. It's the Mutar boys. The Mutar. The Mutar. It's French for mustard. Oh yeah. There we go. The oh, mustard yeah. boys. The mustard boys. How are they gonna do? It's uh, it's so it is a father and his two sons, Emmett and Ollie. That's the Muta boys. I love it. I love it. And they're they're coming in for Team Electric. Which coming is in for Team Electric. Coincidentally, mustard colored. Indeed, indeed. Yeah. How perfect. Now this is their first pack of the season, and I guess they're competing. They're trying to break nine to get the Olive Garden gift card, right? Bam, water. So can they do it? Otherwise, they would need some sort of massive pull here to get like you know a big a big podium spot here. Let's but see. Let's see. And the Honda, the Pikachu will score. The Sandy Shocks, the Reuniclus, the so Mist Energy, Energy will score. score. The Colossal, the Salvator, and the oh. Iron Valiant. So and you know a good start. A five point pack to kick things oh, off. Four four point pack. Oh, one, two, three. Oh, sorry. Four point four pack. Point. I yep. can do my math is killing me today. That's okay. That's okay. Here we so go. So four points, which means uh, a Bash Bastion from earlier will win Rookie of the Day. Bam! Congrats to Bastion. That was a more competitive Rookie of the Day battle than we've seen a lot of times. I know. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm looking back and we've got, you know, like some twos, 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 threes, twos. Yeah. Some mm -hmm. Stephen N pulled 132. What so, was that? You know, that was the, that was a good one. That was, the, that was a big rookie pull. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. All right. Well, here we go. Uh, speaking of which, Ben, next up we've got Mark, who is a former Rookie of the Day. Hey, how about that? All right. So Mark coming in with seven points, four team fire. Uh, Mark was telling us before the game today that he's really just hoping for 43 points. You think so? Um, yeah, he yeah, just wants 43. He just, he just wants 43 in particular, nothing else, no more, no less. We got the eyeball energy there, we got the Ekans, the Turtwig, the Poochiana, the Wiglet, the Hand Trimmer, the Rabska, the Ferretris, the Sableye will not score, the Pydove will not score, and the Scovelin will score, but it looks like Bulk EX that sure number does. 22, it's a front pager, 42 cents. We'll just round up to a single point, we'll sleeve it for you no matter which ways, and there you there go. You go. That's Eight points on the season, but you know what? It's a good rookie debut. This is their rookie season, uh, and they did win a rookie of the day. So hopefully, so good go. things to come. Hopefully, good things to come indeed. Next up is Lauren B from The Bachelor, as wow. we all know. I, I, the the longer this show goes on, the further we get from that season of The Bachelor, the yeah. more obscure that reference becomes. You're right. Yeah, you're no doubt. There's a new <laughs> season happening right now, as I understand it. Of Bachelorette. Bachelorette. Yes. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Sorry. Well, to me, like people really like to like slice the difference and I'm like it's the same show. It's the same show. You know, yeah, like yeah. it's yeah, it just means the the you know they could just shorten it to the batch. The batch, right? The, the batch. Because you got like a batch of people to date. Batch of people exactly. <laughs> the batch. The batch. That'd be so funny. Oh not confusing at all. Next up Rock is pummeling. We've got the Relord, the Ponyta, uh the Chat Out, the Cottony, the Hand Trimmer, the Rebombi, the Booster Energy Capsule, the Tranquil, the Excadrill will score, and the Eerie will oh, score. There we go. Man. Haven't seen one of those yet. That seems like a pretty cool card. Sure like does. The mask is kind of unbelievable. No. Is that number 199? It is 199. Okay, we have not pulled that one so far this season, so that's kind of fun. Six dollars eleven cents for the Eerie. Right, so seven, eight total points with the Excadrill there. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Eighteen on the season for Lauren B season. and Team Electric. All right. Don't think that's going to add any more points to their board, but they don't need them. You they know? don't. Yeah. They don't need them. Just take the eerie and run, Lauren B. That's right. That's Enjoy right. it. Take the eerie. You know what's funny is that Lauren B from The Bachelor ended up dating Ari. Ari, you're yeah, right. And then they got an eerie. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's weird. That is weird. Boy, is coincidence. It? I think not. <laughs> no, it's it's definitely planned. That is planned. The the Pokemon Company, the we Bachelor, and Super Carlin Brothers have merged forces to make a very small and unimportant reference to something that happened like six years ago. That's right. Yeah. Okay. And that most people we watching people. right now are like, 
Y'all. Y'all, stop. Stop. Yeah. With the Bachelor references? The Batch references? The Batch references. <laughs> All right, we got the, we got the Meltan, the C-Dot, the Totodile, the Deerling, the Latias, the Great Tusk, the Bronzong, the Grubbin will not score, the Electabuzz the will, will, and the Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon will. So three two points in a row for Radiant Shadow here. I'm not sure if I said your name earlier. This was for Radiant Shadow. They've got six points on the season. Well done. Well, well done. Probably two points like, back to back to back. Back to back to back. That's right. So maybe they'll, uh, hopefully they can continue that upwards a little next season. Yeah, maybe. exactly. Yeah. Go three through three and get, three, 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 get to nine. Before you know it, you'll be winning every season. You know? Exactly. Exactly. All right, next up we have Elara Evergreen. Ooh. Who is coming in with five points on the day. How can Elara do? Huge Greek mythology nut currently engrossed in the epic musical. Okay, okay. We saw, what did we see? Um, Hades, Hades Town. Town Hades which Town. was amazing. Amazing. With Jordan Fisher. Yeah. It was him. really good. Yes. El Gimp, Sizzlepeed, Meryl, Bolton will score, Mudsdale, Cypher Maniac, Totodile, Sandy Sharks, and Mel Metal! Mel Metal, which Metal. is the worst the card worst in card the whole, in the whole set. Pack, man. So, two points for Alara Evergreen, who's going to come away with seven on the season. I thought we had a, like a, a fair few sevens today. There have been a lot of sevens, yeah. yeah there. So, there you go, Alara. Enjoy your Mel Metal. Yeah, I'm Best sure you, you will. Can. If you, know, you frame it and take a picture and send it to us, we'll feature it here. On the here show, we go. So. Ben Xander is our next contestant, and Xander is someone who is actually competing truly for last place here. So, oh yes, we okay. are. They have got just 16 cents and two points on the season. We want a bad pack here for Xander. Okay, Xander. Look at this. Look at us. Focus here. Nothing right? good. Nothing. This, none whatsoever. You don't want it. Start pacing in your living room. Come on. Or the subway, or wherever you happen to be. If you're on public from. transportation, stand up. Stand up right yeah. now. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure that's what you're doing. Watching the show. And while if you're you travel. if you're giving a speech in front of people, sit down. Sit down. It'd be weird to be watching this while giving a speech, but if you are that talented, time to sit. Time to sit. Yeah. Here we go. All right. We go. Ready? Here we go. Meltan. Yeah. C dot. Mm -hmm. Totodile. Yes. Deerling. I see something bad for them. No. Football no, oh, Ben, I do see it too. The shaman. Oh, no. no, the, the master, master Ball! ball. Ah, Xander! That is, that will absolutely be costing you last place. Oh, spells disaster. It's, yeah, we got the Ligaton. Normally such a good pull. I know. Look at this. Oh my god, is there like, oh no. Oh, I didn't even do the, the energy card. Look at me. I'm just get, I'm skipping things. The Iron Thorns will also score Thorns. twice. Yeah, can you imagine if that had been the electric and it was like, whoops! Whoopsies! <laughs> Although this also would have been terrible if no Master Ball, because it would have been worth two. Because it would have been worth two because of the electric. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. All right, so number 153 on the set. This is what's going to blow them out of last place potential oh no matter my what. Gosh. The Master Ball is worth $9.19. That's so 10, 11, 12, 12 points. 12 points. Wow. So, wow. Skyrocketing. Ooh. But up to this, 14. The silver lining, if you want to call it that, is that you get an A spec card. You get the, ma and it's you get master, the master Ball. ball so so it, you you pulled a fantastic card. I know, I know. You just don't get last place. Right. Uh, but of course, there's another, There we have at least one more player who is destined to challenge last place. Yes, indeed. Which other, other people might be hoping that they don't get it so that it becomes more of a four point competition. Then it's gonna be a, yeah, then it's gonna be a mess. Then poor Ethan's gonna have to go do all kinds of annoying math and hunting stuff down. <laughs> so hopefully that doesn't happen. All right, next up, we've got Wilhelmina, who has seven points on the season and again lives in Australia. Hey, how about that? Yeah, who was that earlier who lived in Australia? Can't remember. Somebody. Somebody lives Bastion? in Is Australia. Well, maybe you guys can hang out. <laughs> just meet up in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> Ghastly, Elgib, Sizzlebead, Meryl, Saucebuck, Cypher Maniac, Behem, Electivire will score booster energy capsule and Scizor! Nice! Nice, gotta love a Scizor. Probably too. have to imagine it is just but a single point kind of card, but it is indeed. 68 cents. We'll round up to one point. So Rather two points on you. the pack two for Wilhelmina, who will end the season with nine points total overall. Man. There we go. There you go, Wilhelmina. All right, we're closing in. We've just a few packs left today. What, maybe like seven, eight packs to go. Next up is Chrisara, who probably has blades for hands. Probably has yeah. blades for hands. Yes, indeed. They've probably got, would have loved to have gotten that scissor. That 14 points okay. coming out of the season. So let's see something big here, Chrisara. All, right, all right, we got the. Got I, the feel like, I feel like I, the biggest card might be yet to be pulled. Might yet to be yeah. pulled. Let's see. We got the Pot of, the Pine Co., the Mawile, the Metatite, the Ancient Booster Energy Capsule, the Iron Treads, the Buddy Buddy Poffin will score three, the Beldum will not score at all, the Litten will not score at all, and the Mel Metal. The Mel Metal! 
So four Man, points. Four points in, there. In kind of just disappointing fashion, if I'm being know. completely Franklin with you. But that's going to be 18 points on the season for Krasara and Team Electric. 18's not bad. It's not too bad. No, it's a, it's a, that's a strong finish. It's just not the. It's not going out with a flare. You know? Well, I know, not right? Like throwing like a pile of glitter in the air. Or something. Well, it's such a bummer that Melmetal is the least valuable card in this set because I like Melmetal as a Pokemon. Well, the Pokemon Company or the people who purchase it don't. They, they do not. They're like, nope, dumb. Don't care about it. Who cares if it's a mythical Pokemon that Ash had on the show, right? <laughs> no one. No one, apparently. Not important, you know? Yeah. It's not like Firo. What? I don't know. Where's like Firo? Firo? Where's Firo, okay? How many packs in a row have we gone without? Since since 151. Yeah, we have an interesting pack happening. Oh, we do? Look for alive. Josh? Oh my gosh, you're right. Okay, this is our other last place possible contender. They have got... What, uh, if I'm doing the math right, 41 cents and two points. Although it almost doesn't matter how many cents they have as long as they don't get a single point in this pack. Golek, the Dunsparce, the Snom, Mudbray. Oh my gosh, Perilous so, Jungle. We're so bad. Unfizant. The Fluttermane is gonna hurt them. Oh no, oh, the Zara Aura. Oh no, oh. falling apart at the end. No! Oh my gosh, that is gonna be one, two, three, four points in the pack. Ah, it hurts. It hurts, it hurts. That's a six point finish uh, for Josh and almost a definite loss of last place. I know, so it could just be that there were only two in today's box. We're gonna have to go back and check check the other, yeah, the other okay. data because we do have three more boxes left. We sure do. But that's gonna be six points for Josh and Team Grass at the end of the season. Wow. Who we got next? All right, next up we have Haley and Colin. Oh. Who are, for, who were, they are, Defending season champs. Okay, from okay. season ten. From okay, season so ten. That was only a um, a single pack season, okay. if you'll recall. I do recall. I do recall. So okay, let's see. We got the Fireball Energy. They got four points on the season so far. We got the Pied of the Pineco, the Mawile, the Metatite, the Cipher Maniacs, the Vikavolt will score, the Great Tusk, the Turtwig will not score, the Pikachu will score, and the Relicanth as well. Uh, so just, just three. Just going to be three right. points on the season. End out with seven. Seven again. Again. Total for Haley and Collins. So hopefully next season a return to form, a return to championhood. You know, I'd love to see a dynasty developing somewhere in here. I know, I know. It's It'd always it's always fun to watch a champ. Extremely emerge. unprecedented in a show like this. Yes, where it is based on sheer skill alone. Exactly. Uh, unlike you know sports. Unlike sports. <laughs> Next up, we've got Cortavian. Cortavian. Who we met in Boston, I'm pretty sure. Yes, I'm not I mistaken. believe so. There we go. We got 16 points for Cortavian. Let's see, can. From Kentucky, but lives in Colorado. Dude, did you come from Colorado to see us in Boston? That's impressive. Let us know. Thanks. Thanks it for was coming. Great. Hope you enjoyed nice yourself. Nice to meet you. It was great meeting you. Shoo. All right. Oh, gosh. I totally did that backwards. Here we go. Oh, oh okay. Cartavian coming out swinging. You got Golette, Dunspar, Snob, Mudbray, Ancient Boost Energy Capsule, the Rapid Ash, the Bolt on the Iron Hands, the, the Body Bunny, the Roaring Moon. What wow. a finish. Wow. Wow, One, indeed. two, three, four, five, six. 12! Well Man. done. Well done. That's how done. you do it. That's going to be 28 on the season? What? A season for Cartavian. Came out with a 6, then a 10, then a 12. Finishing strong. Literally finishing with a type advantage and four scoring cards in a row. And Cartavian was already scoring for Team Fire at the start of the day, but just added 12 points to their total. So oh my god! Well done to well, them. Well, Cartavian has pulled their weight this season. Most certainly. Well Most done. certainly. Well done indeed. Next up, we have um, Ian's Chonky Cat. Their cat equals their cat's name is Marbles. Maybe we came up with. I, cat almost, almost we came up with Marbles for sure because. Because we wrote it. We wrote. I wrote it. Cat not, equals marbles. Not not uh, office manager cat who wrote wrote the rest of the card. Who wrote the rest of it? Oh, yeah. look at this. We got the lightning bolt. Oh my energy, gosh! Though. Back to back for Team Electric here. Can we do something big with it? Okay, let's see. Let's see. We got the Turtonator, the Hoot Hoot, the Beldum, the Heatmore, the Zero Aura, Aura, the Sharpedo, the Metagross, the Cutie Fly, Fly will score. score. Oh, the Bronzor, the Bronzor that's will gonna score. score. And the, the Feraligatr, which oh, they can mark out for you. Let's see. Number one seventy on the set is gonna be worth just one dollar. 73, so two points. For the bronze ore? Yeah, so. Oh, man. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, times two is 10. 10 for 17 total. Boom. It looks like uh, Ian's Chunky Cat Marbles joined us halfway through the season, so they only had two packs. 
to go on there. But it was, I mean, that's a 17 points on two packs is an excellent showing. It so really is, yeah. Welcome, welcome to the party, pal. There you go. And you get this awesome Bronzor and a for alligator. For alligator. Bam. For lunch. All right, next up we have got Tyler Gillies, who is coming into the day with just five points. Just five points for Tyler Gillies. Let's see how they're going to do. How are they going to finish the season? Boy, Tyler Gillies, though, coming off of back in season 10, had just a single point in season 10. So, and it doesn't look like we wrote down champion next to their name, so they might have had a single point losing season. Oh, yeah, like now with, with, without winning. I know. So, uh, here we go. And then they came into the season with a single point, but then put up four, so they're hoping for something bigger. Machino, Rockruff, Litton, Shroomish, Centiscorch, Palafin, Eerie, Ponita, Unfazan, and Bramblegast. Boy, Ooh, I really set you up there, wow, and then yeah. I, I feel like I did you a little dirty because of <laughs> yeah, the bad that was that's not what you're exactly hoping for. Nope. nope. There you no, go. Well, yeah, you get so a, just, a tumbleweed. <laughs> Enjoy. Enjoy that tumbleweed. Oh, it's boy. It's worth about as many points as you'd expect. All right, we have two packs left on the day. Do we have, have we seen, do, is the best pack yet to come? Well, I don't know. We had that Ghastly, which was worth 34 points back for, for Kernak. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, that's that's far and away our best pack at 37, followed by, we got a 12 in there, some 10s. Um, two 12s, a couple 10s, yeah. So, uh, yeah, either Ryan or Dragon, who are closing out the day for us. Someone's got to do something. Someone's got to do fun. something big. This is Ryan's pack. He's got four on the season so far. Some almost last pack magic. Almost if you will. last pack magic. All right, let's see here. So, we'll set the code card aside. We've got the eyeball uh, energy. energy. We've got the Turdinator, the Hoot Hoot, the Beldum, the Heatmore, the Salvatore, the Bronzong, the Exodrill will, will score. score, the Drample will score, score. the Lycanroc will not, and the oh, Bramble, the Bramble gas. gas strikes again. So, just three points closing Ryan out yeah, for seven again it seems seven. like the familiar story of the day boy all right well now it is down to dragon for some last pack magic can they pull something big here they've only got four points on the season but here we go oh, yeah okay something like that you know how it is all right, can we do it, Dragon? Can we do it? Dragon would love to because the best that their best season is back in season seven, single pack for twenty six points. That's pretty solid. Otherwise, hasn't been able to put up a lot of points. Hasn't been able to string anything together. The Zoomer, the Yamper, the Grubbin, the Roserade, the Excadrill will score. The Keldeo, the Bramlin will not. The Charger Bug will, and the Raging Bolt will get some points. There we go. So four scoring cards. I don't know if that Raging Bolt is going to be worth more than one or not. Let's see, number one twenty three. Feel like on not. Set. I, I, it's worth two. Okay. So seventy-eight. So it's a five-point pack. Five-point pack to close us out for Dragon. Nine points total on the season. Nine on the season. There we go. Well, Ben, we thought that Steven would probably lose, uh, would might get bumped down out of the eighth place contention, but in fact, he's safe. He's safe. So, so now. If anything, I actually would call that like... It's it, like I'm pulling for him. I gotta be honest with you. Like I yeah. normally, I only show favorites the person who I'm opening the pack for. Right. Um. But at the moment, like I would be pretty excited to see it happen, especially considering the fact that if it happened, well, like Monkey Bacon's out. Like it would have been so fun if Monkey Bacon flipped a Ruskied. Yes. Because then they'd be continue to be in that scoring position. Yes. Uh, because they would then win the Big Steve Award. Um. But I do think for Big Steve, this is good news because it means we have three more boxes left. We have three more boxes left. Yes. For for someone to try to just like tip that scale just a little bit. Just so, a little bit. I know that we've got uh, Annika has 38 points with packs still to open. Sydney has 37, as does Earth, as who we also met in New York City, by did. the way. Sydney, are there two Sydneys? There must be. Yes, there looks like there are. Unless it's the same one twice, I don't know. They both have, they're both on Team Fire. We'll have to check that. We'll have to we'll check, yeah, yeah, I don't know about that. All right, otherwise we have uh, Reagan at uh, 29 points down in 13th there. Big Jake, 26 points. So there's some other people who can jostle things around, but they, like. And, and of course, there's always that possibility. I think the top card in the set is alone worth over 100. Yeah, so, so it's there's like, always that. That's the Iron Horns, I wanna say, or yes. Iron Crown. Yes, 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 yes. So if you get that, that single card, I was trying to see exactly where it was. Let's see, oh, actually, uh, Gouging Fire, uh, is worth fifty dollars thirty nine cents, and Iron Leaves is worth fifty one points. Um, yeah, so there, there's definitely like, there's, there's scoring potential. There's big points to be had in our remaining packs. Precisely. If you too would like to have us open a pack for you here on Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, you can do so by heading on over to Patreon.com/slash/SuperCarlinGaming and selecting the Box Breakers tier. Yes, but otherwise, until next time, Hariyama. Hariyama!